Good morning! Welcome to day two of the Xi'an vlogs. This is the hotel that we're staying at while we're here. It's the Jinmao Hotel. And we just like the area that it's in because it's so close to the bell tower, the drum tower. And right outside at night, there's just lots of um, like street food set up on the street. And um, yeah, so we just have really liked it. It's been a really good location. Today is all about the Terracotta Warriors. So right now we're getting a DB to take us to the Terracotta Warriors. Um, it's kind of a long drive. It's about an hour to get to the Terracotta Warriors from where we are right down, right downtown in the city. And right now it's going to be more than an hour because of like morning traffic and everything. So we knew that was going to happen. And I have a bunch of podcasts that I've downloaded so I can listen to some information about the Terracotta Warriors before we get there and I'll learn a little bit of history before we go. Um, it's kind of like my version of having like an audio guide is I've just researched some podcasts which is going to be fun. So I'm going to listen to those as we drive and I'll see you when we get there. We made it. I'm excited. There's so many people. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we are seeing them in person. I've learned a lot listening to my podcast on the way. I was trying to vlog, but it was so busy. So you're just gonna get a voiceover instead. When you're looking online for how many terracotta warriors there are, you find varying amounts because it's an estimate and they don't actually know how many they're going to uncover or even necessarily exactly how big the area is on that plot of land. You know, some things might even be covered by buildings that are existing there or areas that they haven't designated to be uncovered. And the whole section that is the actual tomb or the mausoleum is still unopened. And it sounds like they're kind of wait maybe waiting for technology to catch up because it's so delicate. Okay, we're gonna listen to something else about China now. Okay. Because I've now listened to all my Terracotta Warrior podcasts. Okay. So we're gonna switch to this one, which is the myth mythical origins of the Middle Kingdom. Also, in case anyone's wondering, stop for two seconds. In case anyone's wondering, the podcast that I liked the best was the Terracotta Warriors, which is History Extra podcast. I thought that one had the best information, and I really liked it. Cool. So they were saying that there was eight different head molds, but then all the details on the head, the face, the ears, everything was handcrafted, and each is individual, which is crazy. And then they were saying that about the body section as well that you would think maybe a mold, but in reality, they use like a coiling technique. It was so cool to see people there actually working and there's different stages, you know, of the process and you kind of see exactly what they're doing. It's one of those kind of mysterious wonders of the world that you're not quite sure how it's possible to have done so much um, so many years ago. And that's, I think, why it's so interesting and everyone wants to see it and it's just such a massive uh, complex so just so cool to see lauren has gotten in line at a noodle spot just here on the corner good job thanks i did it you know the guy behind in front was helping like well he's, she's like she's like calling out like she mm -hmm, can't mm -hmm. see who's coming but she's like calling out like do you want this or this like she's kind of you know yeah. and so he's like he's like oh the foreigner is next she doesn't know what she wants you need help <laughs> and i said all like all are good guys wait wait i want a picture first we didn't make a picture of the other young noodles famous young young noodles and we saw the line outside of this tiny little store yesterday and we said, yep, we gotta try. So today, we're back to try. And I waited in line and it was fine and they were very helpful and now we have noodles. Nailed it. I think it's gone. We ate it all. It was great. That's the ultimate Christmas tree lights. Like, that's why. <laughs> How'd they do that? I don't know. They decorated. Just for us. 
how they do that? Just for us. Wow. So how people do that? Can you see me in that video? Not well. We're here at the show, The Everlasting Sorrow. And the sorrow is that I'm stuck in this crazy crowd of people. And I feel like I'm gonna get trampled as soon as we start moving forward. <laughs> As we're like standing up from the seats, they're coming around like tearing down the whole seating section. This was like the best show I think I've ever seen. This was, it was like amazing. It was amazing. There was doves at the end and the entire mountain had lights. That was crazy. I loved it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> You were distracted by all the things happening around us in the I thought, audience. I thought I thought it was the best spectacle I've ever seen. Yeah, the best. Yeah. I would not well, say the best show I've ever right, seen. Right, right, right. You would you know choose I mean? like 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 a musical, like music theater, yeah. something with singing and performance. You know, and, still, well, still kind of. like the big like production style, but like yeah, like I just for me like I was extremely impressed. I thought everything was stunning. And it was yes, it was a spectacle. But, like, and I the dancing. Like, I wasn't in tears by the end. You know what I mean? So this is like a whole like hot spring resort area that's right by where the Terracotta Warriors are. So it's like an hour out of the city. Uh, we just took the subway on the way here. And yeah, the show was amazing. What museum is this? I don't know. Let's find out. There's a sign right here. This is the Balin Museum Historical and Cultural Scenic Area. Forest. His name is Stella. This is the only thing that I got that I wish was actually recommended to us. I think it's like a shredded fennel pancake, was what it was called, right? I think so. Let's go. We just trusted one of her recommendations. We've never tried this, but it comes on a little drum because we are one block away from the drum tower. Do it with the way. This is our third Byung Byung noodles of the trip. And probably our last because we're going to be heading home soon. Ending the vlog exactly where we started, right here in front of the bell tower in Xi'an. We hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next week. Bye.